using the CSI 2144 channel analyzer can bring significant value added cost savings to your reliability program over your single channel data collection program. By adding Emerson's integral magnet triaxial accelerometer, the savings become even more substantial. Let's take a look at how one Emerson customer was able to calculate the savings using the CSI 2140 four channel analyzer and triaxial accelerometer. This customer compared their route data collection criteria using three scenarios. First, using a CSI 2130 with a single axis accelerometer. If you aren't using a CSI 2130 in your plant, you can still make the comparison by entering your machinery and point information. But realize that data collection with the CSI 2130 is one of the fastest analyzers on the market, so your actual calculated savings could be much higher. Next, the customer calculated the same route using the CSI 2140 four channel analyzer, but still with a single axis accelerometer. Finally, the customer calculated the same route again with the CSI 2140 four channel analyzer but this time introducing the integral magnet triaxial accelerometer. With the triaxial accelerometer, data is collected from all three axes, horizontal, vertical, and axial, from a single placement versus moving a single axis accelerometer three times to each of the data collection points. The analysis parameter sets used for collecting data are identical in each of these three cases, with the only differences being the analyzer and the accelerometer used. Let's get started. The calculations start with the number of machine trains collected each month. Machine trains are defined as consisting of two components such as a motor pump train or a motor fan train. This customer was collecting data on 1275 machine trains and in all three directions on each of the four bearings for a total of 12 points per machine train. This adds up to 15,300 points to be collected each month, regardless of the analyzer and accelerometer used. Now, we factor in the amount of time in seconds required by the analyzer to collect data on each point. With the CSI 2130, the time for each measurement is 6.5 seconds. While the significantly faster CSI 2140 is shown as 2.5 seconds. Next, we need to consider the differences between a single point accelerometer and Emerson's triaxial accelerometer. With the single axis accelerometer, we'll require 12 collection locations, the same number as the required points per machine. But using Emerson's triaxial accelerometer, the customer was able to collect those same 12 points from only four locations on the machine. In order to calculate the true time for data collection, we have to consider the time required to move the sensor from one point to the next point. For our calculation, we'll use three seconds for any sensor. While it may seem to take less time during the route collection, three seconds takes into consideration any time required to properly seat and settle time for the accelerometer. With a single axis accelerometer, the number of sensor movements is always one less than the number of data collection locations. In other words, once you take the first measurements, how many times do you have to move the sensor after that? With the single axis accelerometer, you'll have to move the sensor 11 more times to collect the 12 points. But with the triaxial accelerometer, you'll reduce the number of movements to only three. So exactly how much faster are we able to collect data with a CSI 2140 and triaxial accelerometer? First, we multiply the number of points per machine by the number of seconds required to collect that point. Next, we multiply the three seconds required to move the sensor by the number of moves required. The sum of these two numbers is converted from seconds to hours for an easy to understand picture of the amount of time required to collect the data from 1,275 machine trains. With the CSI 2130, the customer was able to complete the data collection in just under 40 hours, while the CSI 2140 requires just a little more than 22 hours to complete the same amount of work using a single axis accelerometer. Factor in the triaxial accelerometer, and the same work is completed in less than seven hours time. You can see that the time savings created by the CSI 2140 and triaxial accelerometer are substantial, 
But let's look at these differences in another way, value-added cost savings. This customer reported an hourly billable rate of $55 per hour per technician collecting data. By applying that rate to the number of hours spent collecting data, we see a substantial difference in the annual expense for collecting data. For this customer, switching from a CSI 2130 to a CSI 2140 four-channel analyzer with the triaxial accelerometer resulted in a value-added savings of $21,500 annually and an additional 33 hours per month for the technician to do something more value-added than vibration route data collection. Here's another way to look at it. In the same amount of time spent collecting data, this customer can now cover an additional 6,253 machine trains, almost five times the size of his original program. This would be particularly useful if the customer was previously unable to cover the entire plant due to a lack of manpower. In fact, in the time it took to watch this video, here's how many measurements you could have collected on a machine. These savings are calculated based on just one Emerson customer's experience but you can perform the same calculations for your route data collections too. Simply access the data collection cost calculator application at the address on the screen and fill in these three numbers as they apply in your facility. Number of machine trains collected per month, the number of points you collect per machine, and an hourly billable rate. The calculator will do the rest.